Hey viewers and viewers, it's me, General Red, bringing you another indie horror game episode. As you remember, the last one was Living in a Glass House Part 1. This time I'm going to take a look at the Part 2, which came with the download. Now, obviously you remember, well not the, not the most graphically impressive of games, and the jump scares, well they were a bit cheap, let's be honest. But, go on. Might as well continue. My vision is going in and out of focus. That is fucking loud. I can barely hear myself speak. It is so dark down here. The mixture of damp and cold air breathes through the tunnels of the mine. The mine? The hairs on my arms are raised to the sky and my body is suppressing a shiver. Hopefully I will not have to be here too long or so help me. I will freeze to death in the pitch black down here. No one can hear me. If I'm impaired, I'll... Look! Please don't do that to me. I haven't finished reading. Okay. Whatever. Oh, it looks like we actually have guns this time. That's interesting. I, I don't think I actually completed the last game. The last part of this. I mean, I, I just pretty much stopped because it was... I'll be honest. I wasn't actually that impressed. And the only reason I'm actually doing this part is really just for the sake of thoroughness. Just to give all you viewers a glimpse of the part two for anyone who wants to see. All right. I can just about see. I don't know about you viewers. Okay, <laughs> right. What's that say? It's funny. When I point my wep uh, my, my, my weapon, my uh, flashlight at it, it actually goes darker. And actually, no, it depends on where I am in the room. That says authorised personnel only. Okay. <clears throat> Is that open? Nope. That's... nope. It looks like through, through here. No oh, fucking joy. Well, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh god, bit uh, glitchy walking up there. Oh look, <laughs> well this ain't precarious at all, is it? Oh great, do I have to jump to that? Or maybe not, actually. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's just see my weapons. I've got four bullets in this fucking rifle, which I can barely see. I've got... Oh, God. I just hit reload. Luckily, I didn't lose any ammo. I've got my axe, as usual. My trusty axe. All right, are there any freaky-looking people knocking around here? Creepy noises, I'll give it that. Oh look, it's the trash bag again. And a mattress, fun. i break through that with my axe. Eh, come here. You know, some of the sound effects in this sound familiar to that Escape the Bunker 1944 indie horror I did quite a while back. Was this made on the same engine? Feels like possibly it was. Right, where am I going? Downstairs, possibly? Onto the pipes? <laughs> God, what a pansy. Takes damage from that. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. I've come fucking wrong way. Oh, no. I thought I'd come the wrong way for a second, but maybe not. Okay. Uh, preferably I want to try using this. <laughs> yes, I actually just took that out. What a fucking ninja I am. No! Oh, hello. What's that say? You stuffed my throat with knives. Nice. Nice, buddy. Uh, this way, I think. Alright. Any creeps knocking round? I'm starting to think those sounds are probably just literally nothing. That's opens as does this one. No, it doesn't actually. Oh! <laughs> Ominous door opening over there. <laughs> oh! Okay. That's fine. You can do that. Uh, I'll just go round. Lol. Oh. 
No, you bitch. Warning, mining operation, loose rock and explosives. Fun! Oh, where, did, where now? Okay, oh god. Uh, do I have to smash something? Am I smashing, champion? I may be smashing something. Let me just get my, uh, giant thing out. Come on. Ugh, take that. Okay, that's not working. Is there actually a way through that? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Can I smash this, perhaps? This seems to stand out. Take that. Come on. He is actually moving. Ugh. Uh, I don't know. Not sure if that's really the right way to be doing things. Okay. Mm. I've gone the right way here. Huh. See if I can take this out. Yeah, the answer to that seems to be no. Okay. <laughs> can I destroy these? Evidently not. Okay, now I'm backtracking. That's never good. Okay, that's not going. Again, I think I've said before, I'm not really particularly impressed <laughs> with this so far. I'll be brutally honest. Why is there a car tyre down here? <laughs> it might be a random observation, but... Yes, what's that all about? Alright. Uh, that's not opening. Okay, so it must be this way, surely. Because where else would it want me to go? Unless... Unless I can shoot an explosive barrel somewhere, perhaps? Maybe? Possibly, I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything under there. Right, um Explosive barrel. There is a barrel over there I can fucking barely see. Ugh. Can I shoot? Come on. That's not doing any freaking good at all. Oh well, let's put paid to that plan. That course of action. Why is there a plant growing down here? That doesn't make sense. But plants lead plants needed light, did they not? To photosynthesize? What about that barrel there? Hang on, get me gun. Ah, screw that then. No, not that. I want my flashlight. There is. Right, so what's the deal? Where am I going? Ugh, come on. Hmm. Can I get down through that? Nope. That's not happening. All right, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> so what's the point of this room with the uh, warning mining operations loose rock and explosive sign? What's the deal in here? <laughs> wow, if I stand at a certain point here and keep the uh, space pressed down... <laughs> he's raving out, my character. Jesus. Yeah, come on. Oh, It's starting to annoy me. I mean, look at this barricade. Look at these bloody planks. They're not even placed that well. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> my character's raving out again. What am I supposed to do here? Mm, come on. Is there something under this? Yeah, there looks like there's a passage under it, but how do I, um... How do I shift this thing? No, not with that. Come on. Come on. Or can I shoot it out of the way? What about my other gun? Okay, that pushed it a bit more. 
Ugh. That's now out of bullets, isn't it? Oh, bollocks. Yeah, there's definitely something under here. Okay, maybe I actually need to be pushing it this way. Fuck. I think I've just wasted all those bullets, haven't I? Go on. Seriously, is there not a better way to move this? Ugh, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Um. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. I think I've balked this, haven't I? I'm pretty sure that's probably not supposed to be like that now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Get okay, push. Come on. Get the axe out. Not that. This. Come on. Get it. It is moving. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. I think I have messed up, haven't I? Yeah, someone tells me I've pretty much messed up, and I think I have might have, uh, yeah, broken the game, perhaps. Unless I can destroy that. Come on. Ugh, come on. Nope, I think we've genuinely screwed things up here. And by we, I mean I, pretty much. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll wrap it up here. So this was uh, Living in a Glass House, part two. Level two, episode two, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Not sure what to make of this game. My honest opinion is I don't rate it that highly. I know, maybe just because... I'm comparing it to previous uh, indie horrors which I've done, which have had much better graphical styles. In terms of atmosphere, well, pfft. to me it doesn't feel like really feel like there is one. I mean, sure there were jump scares, but they were pretty cheap. So yeah, don't know if you people want to go out and play this. As usual, I'll put a download link in the video description. You can check it out if you want. See if you can get further than I did without fucking breaking things. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm literally that dismissive of it. This game just hasn't really made any impression on me, to be very honest. To be quite frank and brutally frank. <laughs> I mix my words up a little bit. But yes, hope you'll join me for the next indie horror when I get around to that. I uh, have already, already have an idea of what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to do doorways. Yes, because that looks pretty fucking amazing. So yeah, that should hopefully make up for this very... Nah, I can't even think of a word to really describe this. <laughs> so yes, hope you'll join me in the next indie horror playthrough whenever that comes out. And in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye.